Hey guys, Bill from Competition Cars. I have another very cool car here for sale on Bring a Trailer. 1972 Oldsmobile 98 Coupe, 455 four barrel with 14,800 miles on it. Um, for those of you that have seen this video on YouTube, I have to make these videos for Bring a Trailer. Sometimes I'll hit YouTube before the, before the auction starts on Bring a Trailer and you guys ask, well, how come it's not on your website or how come you're not giving me a price on it? It's because I buy these old cars specifically to put on Bring a Trailer, which is a seven day auction. So when the auction goes live, I'll let you guys know in the comment section and then you guys can bid on it. Cause I don't know what it's gonna bring. I can't really give you a specific price cause it is an auction. Okay, back to the car, 72 model. It's a coupe. It's mostly original. I'm gonna go over the things that I know that aren't 100% original on the car. Um, I've got paint meter pictures. The car is mostly original paint. All the readings read two mil around the entire car except this fender has a little bit of a section that says four mil, okay? Going back to the doors in the rear quarter, it's all two mil. It's had an aftermarket sunroof put in years ago. You can see a little bit of the body work around the edges here, real minimal. Um, it's an old roof, I haven't seen like a uh, roof like that in years. They took it down and then blended it and fogged it to right about here. So the, the meter readings on the roof are a little higher, but the rest of the car on this entire car reads two mil, uh, two mil on the paint meter. And yeah, I got pictures to back that up. When I got the car, there's a little bit of damage on this quarter right here. Right here, and then probably from here to here, there's a scuff that went through the paint. So we repaired that, and I had my paint guy try to keep the, the, the repair as tight as possible to prevent any additional paint work on the car. So yeah, he, he took it and then blended it out. Did a really nice job. The cars had a four-stage paint correction. So with the new paint on this quarter and us doing a four-stage paint correction, it's all tied in very nicely. Uh, very, very respectable looking paint. What's not original on the car, obviously the wheels, easy fix. So the hubcaps, it goes back to the original. The roof, obviously. And then also something I kind of discovered, um, these cars in 72, only, this has the Regency interior, and, uh, well actually the seats. The interior is completely original, but these seats were not put in this car until 74 in the coupes. And in 72, the Regency interior was only available on the four door. So someone has put the, Regency seats in it, which, which, are, which is an extremely comfortable seat and a much better looking seat that was in the car. But if you come around and look at the interior, it shows like a 14,000 mile car should look. I mean, the door panels, the dash, the headliner, the carpets, everything is just in pristine condition. Um, we'll, we'll look at the foot pedals and behind the foot pedals, everything is just fresh and clean. It looks great. No major wear. Um, seats are in impeccable condition. Other than that, the car is, it is original. So these are the things that I'm going to mention to you that I know that are not 100% original on the car. And it's got a couple custom exhaust tips. As we go around the other, to the other side of the car and get to the other side of the interior, I want to mention the bright work and the chrome. This chrome is extremely nice. Crystal clear. It's not pitted. It's not, um, you know, no little speckles in it. And this is one of the first cars I've had in a while that's had chrome that's looked that good. All the bright work down the side looks good. I think the wheels look good. They're appropriate for the for the year. They're they're you know for this year car. That's uh, decent look for the car. Again, all the rubber. This is all original rubber, and it's all very still soft and very supple. It's not been replaced, from what I can tell. It's in great shape. Again, look down at the pedals and behind the pedals, and also these cars, these steering wheels, the original wheels tended to crack on top and crack here. And then the wood grain tends to peel off and get chipped away. The wheels in immaculate condition. What does not work on the car, the clock does not work. The radio, when you turn it on, once in a blue moon, it will turn on. And when it comes on, it plays for 15 to 20 seconds. It doesn't power off, it just stops playing music. So there's something going on with the radio. I wouldn't dare put an aftermarket radio in it. I would definitely get that one refurbished. They can do them between 250 and 350 to replace them or to rebuild them. But most guys were months out, so they had that kind of time frame. I'm just letting you know, the radio's got a mind of its own. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Everything else in the car, from the power seats, the power windows, to the power um, window seats and mirror, or window seats, and uh, all that stuff works like it should. The um, air conditioning is cold. We, we fixed the air conditioning. That's been taken care of. Look at the front bumper, how pristine the chrome is on the front. It's just crystal clear, looks great. Engine bay is also a highlight of this car. Look at that. That looks like a 14,000 mile car should look. Very clean, 
very original. Everything is the right colors and shades and the cleanliness of the block. And we did put a new uh, heat shield here for the, hood, for the hood. But look down at the in between here on the fender. There's no rust on this car. There's no rot on this car. Everything looks good. I mean, I mean under the hood's like show quality. Um, it does have the Rocket 455, four barrel. Two things I'm waiting on, and I'll post pictures. I'm waiting for the emission sticker to come in. We had to redo that. And then the little sticker on the side for the air breather that's gonna come in. So that'll be, when as soon as those come in, I'll, I'll put those on the car and get you some fresh pictures of that. The car runs and drives perfect. And it actually has a lot of power. Um, I was surprised actually how powerful this car is. Again, pan around the front of the car and all the bright work, the headlights, the grill, all that stuff's in really great shape. Dual mirrors, the little in the trunk. Again, looking at things like the rubber, and all this is just in really great shape. Um, out of all these old cars, I'm, I'm pretty sure it didn't come with a compact spare in 72. That's what's in it now. Uh, but all everything is, it looks good. There's no rot or rust. If you look here, all down here, all that stuff's in great shape. Um, you can tell the car has been very well preserved. Um, and as far as the paint goes, you know, it's nearly, was it 50 year old paint, I guess? I mean, it's really held up well. I mean, like I said, the paint correction, we clay bar, compound polish, and then seal it with a, with a ceramic coating product. Um, so it looks really good. I mean, it's not flawless. There were some nicks and chips that we touched up here and there. If you want to come back around to the front of the car. Um, here, if you look at the front, it's so flat, it picked up some chips and things over the years. I've touched it up. I got the factory paint color and then we've had to touch it up. So it's, you know, it, it looks good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks good. But overall, the car's got a heck of a shine. It's got a heck of a look. Stance is nice on it. Air's cold. It's been serviced. So all you have to do is drive it and enjoy it. And um, I'll do a driving video and a cold start video. That way you guys get an idea of how the car runs and drives. But it looks fantastic. And I'll tell you nothing. I went online to research these cars. There's not a lot of these cars for sale. This is a really, really desirable car, a very rare car to still be in this kind of condition. Most of these cars were rusted out or you know, beat up on and junked, but this car has is, is, is held its own and, and I'm just glad it was preserved very well. And, and uh, the other thing I was gonna tell you too, the car's been sitting in the showroom for probably over a week. There's a little drop of oil up under the oil pan. I'm sure it's probably the rear main seal or something of that nature. Um, you know, these cars, when they get that age, they're just not gonna, they're gonna, they sit for a while and that, that kind of stuff happens. But if I know about something I know on the car, if I know about it, I'm gonna tell you guys. So good luck bidding. Put any questions in the comment section. I'll answer them as quickly as possible. And thanks guys for looking.